Hey there, April of Yes to Next here with my mom, Aiko. Hi. Now we lose three to 8% of muscle mass per decade, and that accelerates as we get older. Mm. That wow. is not good because we don't yeah. wanna get frail, That's right. right? We don't wanna fall. That's right. So in order to combat that muscle loss, we need to do strength training to build muscle, increase bone density, to help us stay mobile and independent. Okay, but how do you know what the right weight is to use. Oh, okay, so yeah. yeah. So we're gonna go through a little process to help you determine what weight is right for you. Okay, and, and so it's most important one to listen to your body always. You know, you know what's heavy and what's light. Right. Um, and what's most important is that you have, do an exercise with good form. Okay, so say for instance, we're doing a bicep curl, right? Uh, shoulders back and down, have really good form like that, okay? And also the, the kind of exercise you do can dictate you know, the, amount, the amount of weight that you use. So for instance, your glutes and your hamstrings, these are big muscles, yeah. okay? These are real powerful muscles. Big so, butt. <laughs> that's why we all want a good strong butt, right? So that, the, that, those muscles can handle more weight as opposed to like your shoulder area. Mm. Your shoulder doesn't have muscles, but you know, right. all the muscles surrounding your shoulder, very small mm. muscles, yeah. even your biceps, small muscles. So the weights could be different. All right. The other thing that could be also different is um, the kind of weight you use. Where you're going to be using dumbbells here, but say you're advancing, you want to use. There's. You could be using sand, oh, right? Sun, yeah, sandbags or or kettlebells. You know, those types of of weights can you know make your body work harder in different ways. So that means that you may use a different weight, a lighter weight for those mm -hmm. types of, true, of weights. Yeah. Okay, so those are just different things can, that can that affect the, the amount of weight that you use, okay? So um, for our purposes, um, you know, we want, well, for everyone, we should at least aim to do two strength training sessions a week that yeah. work okay. your entire body, right. okay? That's in addition to 150 minutes of cardio, right? That we all know we should do. All right, so um, for our purposes today, we're going to um, do, we're gonna aim for 10 reps of an exercise. I think that's okay. good. Yeah, and, and generally we wanna do like eight to 12 reps of an exercise, maybe two to three sets, generally, okay? All right, so my mom's gonna demonstrate picking a right weight for uh -oh. a specific exercise, all right? Go. So let's start with, with like a mini squat, okay? I'm gonna demonstrate the mini squat. So feet shoulder width apart, okay? Maybe mm -hmm. slight flare on your feet, mm -hmm. shoulders back and down, and your back is straight, everybody, okay? Right. Good posture. And what we're doing is we're just having our hands at our side, and we're sitting our butt back as if we were going to sit in a chair, right? But notice my back is not rounding, right? Back is straight. There's none of this. This is wrong, okay? So we're going to put a lot of stress on your back. Keep your back straight, okay? So first and foremost, I want you to master that move without any weights, okay? It's a mini squat and not deep, where, where you should really feel it in your hamstrings and your glute when you're coming up, okay? okay? And when you're, the breathing part of this is, as you're going down, inhale, and as you come out, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And you don't have to go deep, but I want you to really feel it here, all the power is here. Okay, mom, yeah. let's start with, okay. let's start with two pounds and okay. see what that looks like, all right. okay? All right, so give me that good form. All right, yep, just, yep, okay, mm -hmm. and sit back. Okay, up, two, three, four, it's easy. five, oh, six, I don't even feel anything. Seven, eight, we're going to 10, uh -huh. nine, easy peasy, and 10. Okay, so my mom just said, she just said easy peasy breezy with the two pounders, right? <laughs> so I'm saying, mom, that's too easy for you, <laughs> all right? Okay, so we're gonna go up to five pounders. Okay. Okay, and just down at your sides here, okay? And same thing, don't bend the elbows, look at my arms, straight, just let them hang, okay? And you should feel challenged, even at the first rep, but if you feel it's super challenging by like six to eight, that's probably a good, that's probably a good weight for you. So let's go. Tell me how you're feeling at six, eight. So this is one and two. Don't have to go deep. Three, good. And four and five. Whoo, keep those arms straight. Six, checking in. Seven, that's good. Eight, keep the arms on. Feeling yep. it a little bit. Nine and 10 and rest. Okay, let's, let's debrief. 
How did that feel at it's six good. and eight? I, I was still doing it okay. Yeah, but no, right. I didn't have any problems. Mm -hmm. Did it feel challenging at six to eight? Yeah. Okay. That's probably the right right weight for Can my Can I mom. try the bigger size? Oh, I love the spirit. Yes. Yes, you may. Then I'll know for sure. Okay, good. That's exactly right. So this is this is the kind of experimentation that you should be doing, okay? And, and at any time, if you pay, feel pain, stop. But that's great. That's exactly right. Good form. Always think about good form. Okay. Just arms down. Don't bend the elbows. Okay. Sit the butt back. Sit the butt back. Right? All the power in your butt. Remember your breathing. I know there's a lot here. <sighs> Breathe out as you come up. <sighs> Don't bend the elbows. Don't bend the elbows. Keep those straight down. Uh-huh. See, maybe this is too heavy for me. Yeah, seems like you're uh, swinging a little bit. Okay, stop. Yeah. Okay. okay. You're, you're listening to your body, right? right? Yeah. What's your body saying? Quit. <laughs> <laughs> Take a rest. Go to the, sit on the couch. That's, now that's the no. communication I want to hear. Okay. Five is probably good. So yeah, so in this situation, yeah, my, my mom, five pounds yeah. is good. And we're gonna, we would do two sets of those. Okay, good. Let's move on to smaller muscles, okay? So we're going to do that bicep curl. Let's okay. try that, mom. Let's try those two pounders again. Okay. Okay. Go. These look like baby weights. That's right. Okay. Hold on. Let's, let's check. Let's check. Let's check the form here. Right. Mm -hmm. Form is. Yes. Yeah, shoulder width apart. Slight bend in the knees. Yep. Same posture posture. thing, right? Posture. Okay. Good posture. Elbows in. Elbows in. And up. Breathe out. And down. Go slow. Out. And down. Out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. How did I get my breathing? Exhale. Now? Good. I like to see what I'm seeing here, though. It's very perfect. My mom's not swaying. No momentum going on here. This is easy peasy. Two pounds. And stop. The baby weight. Right? You, yeah. I think, For me. I think you could do these all day. So it seems like you could do those all day, right? Those would seem very, very easy for you. Yeah. Okay. All right. We're moving on to some heavy three pounders here. Okay. Give me that good form. So back now. Elbows in. Back straight. Okay. Exhale. One. Down. Two. Down. Slow. Three. Slow. Yes. Five. Exhale. Okay. Six. Looks like this is challenging for you. Seven. No. I'm doing it. Eight. I know. Nine. One more. And ten. Very good. But tell me how you were feeling by number eight. Well, it, was, it was getting heavier, but I could still manage it with minimal stress. Okay. You want to try five pounders? I want to try the five pounder. All right. Let's try five pounders. Okay. Okay. Give me a good form again. Good. Okay, shoulders back and down, elbows in. Bring it up, exhale. Exhale. One, two, slow, three, good. This is four, and five. I can feel it now. Six, yeah. seven, I think the three pounders are eight. Swimming. I see you sway a little bit. Yeah. Once you start losing form, yeah. right? You start losing form and start to use momentum to try to get yeah. those weights up. Yeah. That's too heavy for you. Yeah. Okay. Go to a lighter weight until you master it so that right. this, you've got excellent form. Okay. So what that was telling me is that, telling my mom too, is that three pounds is for the, my ideal for the bicep curl was yeah. the ideal yeah. weight. The bicep, yeah. Okay. So again, it's all about listening to your body and making sure that you can do an exercise with perfect Form. I'm ready. Once you're ready to do that, you're ready to move on. And again, the rule is, say say you're doing 10 reps by the 6th to 8th rep. It starts to feel challenging. That's probably a good weight for you. Right. And if, it's, if you're straining on the first rep, that's too heavy. Too heavy. Okay? So listen to your body. And, um, uh, you know, we, we wish you just good strength and want to help you build muscle. <laughs> All right. So I hope this is helpful. If it is, please give our video a like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. It's always great to work out with you and help you get stronger. Um, so um, we look forward to seeing you in a future video. And in the meantime, keep moving and building muscle. See you soon.